Full trailhead, February 6, 2016. Doing a little solo backpacking. Something I've always wanted to do, but never gotten to it yet. It's a good opportunity because it's February and nobody's real sad to not be out here with me, so I'm okay with that. Official weigh-in. So that's... 25 pounds. I'll take that. It's 10.30 a.m. I think I'm gonna do the southern loop, which should be about five miles today, five miles tomorrow. Normally I'd be all gung-ho, wanting to do the whole 25 mile loop like we did last time, but my legs just aren't feeling it. Step one foot on the trail, already saw two deer. A couple of trail runners down there just passed me. Right when I got here, there were two big groups of trail runners go running by and cars pulling in and out of the trailhead. Second week of February, I figured nobody would be out here. But I guess Zaleski is one of the most, if not the most, populated trail in Ohio. So, I guess that's to be expected. Make sure side show connector will cross over that road so we're going to point B a mile and a half two miles in reached the first water stop here I don't think they maintain these in the winter I don't think they fill them moment of truth see if this thing's got anything in it I should do the two mile shed Sucks. I put my stocking cap in my pocket here, shoved it down there real good, and now it's gone. I'm backtracking until I find it, because I don't want to be out here without a hat. I'm glad I didn't walk but 10 feet, because I remembered I put it in my top thing. I didn't want it to fall out of my pocket, so I shoved it up here. Then I forgot I did that. It means I gotta climb this hill again. 12:21. I'm probably four miles in total. I haven't passed anybody in a while now, so I'm hoping to be a little bit more desolate out here once I get deeper. Here's what I'm looking at. Getting windy up here. View's starting to look good. I saw somebody camped up here last time. I wanted to check it out. I'm gonna stop and have lunch here on this ridge. Cause it's the best view on the whole trail. Take my filter out of my pocket. Can't let these freeze, so. It's really cool to keep it in my pocket at night. I'll keep it in my sleeping bag. Getting tired. Sat down there, leaned against that tree for probably 15 minutes. I think I'm gonna go probably another mile or two and start looking for a place to camp. Really starting to get to the elevation part of this trail. After the overlook, I remember it was up and down for a while. It wouldn't be fun if it was easy. It's so quiet. Except for the wind. Not really blowing down here though. In water. This is awesome. Oh. Hope this trail ain't flooded. And it looks like the trail goes right into the water. But it doesn't. That hill between markers three and four on the map. Oh my gosh, like I am just drenched right now. Just reached campsite two, or whatever it's called. 
D, just realized what I forgot. Beer. At least one or two cans, which it's like a pound a piece, but it's worth it. Forgot my beer. Oh well. No, it says no camping beyond this point. Which means it might be the last, or it would be the last camping spot. It might be mine. This looks pretty good. Well, it's a good a spot as any, I guess. There's really not a lot of wood around, but it's what happens when you camp at a campsite. Well, here's the shelter. Left the tent at home, just brought the rain fly and the footprint and the poles and some stakes. A lot more room for activities. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of leaves in here in the morning. All right, there's my whole sleep system. Got the North Face Flint 2 uh, tent without the tent. I got a little cheap sleeping pad here from Walmart. It's only like 12 ounces though. You really can't beat it as far as weight goes. I got a blanket here, which is pretty much just my emergency blanket. I just have it as an extra layer underneath me right now. Got the Eureka Cimarron, Cimarron 15 degree bag, which it's a pretty good bag. I've never had it in 15 degree, but it's probably only going to get to 26 tonight, maybe. Um, but I should be good. A little bit worried about the wind up on this ridge, but I got this side pretty good, tight. We'll see. Cuts pretty good. Just remember something I forgot, a fork. Luckily, I'm pretty good with chopsticks. So I'm gonna whip up a pair of those. Yeah. Chopsticks. Not bad. Now I can make my dinner and eat it too. Got a decent little wood pile there. That'll easily last me until I'm ready to go to bed. It's 10.28. I've been great up until just this moment. I'm starting to get shivers. I stoke this baby up real quick. Get really nice and toasty warm, and then hit the sack. See you in the morning. Well, it's 7.30. Slept pretty bad last night. Slept okay from about 11 to 4, but I got pretty chilly last night. Couldn't stay warm unless I was sleeping on my arms like this or crossed over. Could have been a lot worse, but... Get a little fire going. Get really nice and toasty. Oh, there's the sun peeking out there. No fire. 
I don't feel like taking the time to do it. So we'll watch the sun rise, make up some coffee. I should have put my water, well, I'm scared to put my water in my sleeping bag with me because if it would leak, that could be bad. But if I would have, I would have had a little bit more water this morning. I'm probably gonna have to go get more to be able to make my oatmeal. There's a water well on down the way there, but it's pretty far. I'm not gonna do that right now while this is boiling. Honduras. I drink this stuff almost every time I go out. Oh, that's good stuff. I normally pour my oatmeal in my pan, but since I don't have a spoon, and I don't want to reach all the way down in there to try to eat oatmeal with chopsticks, I'm just going to pour the water right into the little oatmeal bags and see how that works. Can't forget about them peaches. Now, we wait. Flavor explosion. All right, time to get cleaned up. Get moving. All right, all cleaned up, pretty much the way I found her. Time to go. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh, good night, though. It was a good day. I accomplished pretty much everything I wanted to accomplish. Good camp. Four miles to go until I'm out. Let's get moving. It's getting pretty dense in here now. Pretty muddy, too. I'm really glad I didn't go this far yesterday. It would have been really muddy. Nothing was frozen yesterday. It's about 32 degrees out right now. So... Great weather for February. Doing some running. Sometimes it's easier just to run down the hills. I'm a runner, so it really doesn't bother me that much. It helps push you up the next hill. Down then up, you know. found the solidarity I was looking for. I haven't seen any humans since about noon yesterday. I saw through clearing back there, I saw the Yoda. So I'm within probably 500 feet of her now. I'm uh, just taking my good old time. Didn't really film much on the connector trail. I'm down to one camera now. It's about where the other one died at. Yeah, I don't know. I guess just closing off. It's just a really good trip. Everything went pretty well. I'm kind of discouraged at first, and I got rewarded, you know, over 24 hours without seeing a soul. It's really nice. There she is. And I see my first human. But yeah, I haven't passed anybody on the trail. Now for the two and a half hour drive back home to the north. That's it, thanks for watching.